Now we're gonna do do this cute little guy. Okay, he's so he, he's easy. He's cute. Um, I'm just getting my stuff out of the way. All right, so I'm using this fur. You can see it's very used. Um, this fur you get at, sometimes I think you can get it at Walmart and you can get it at Hobby Lobby. Okay. I'm sure you could probably get it at almost any craft store. Okay. But I, it's the kind that it's usually on a bolt that they cut. And, um, so I'm using this lid, um, uh, my micro, my microwave lid that I put over things. It's probably, I would guess about a foot. All right. And I'm just going to put it on the back of the fur and it doesn't matter a direction with this one. all right so i'm just taking my marker and i'm drawing around you want to make sure that you can see the the outline I'm using a lot of stuff, but I'm getting rid of it then right away. All right, so let me just show you. If you haven't seen me cut fur before, um, the secret to cutting fur so that you're not cutting this length off the fur is to get right under this edge. Some people use X-Acto knives. I'm probably not that accurate that I would get it very well. I'm good with a scissor. Um, so all I'm going to do is you want to get right underneath this top and not do the whole thing. You just get right underneath the top. Get my sharp scissor out because that's not doing nothing. Hello, Lisa. Lisa, go ahead and drop your link. Anybody else out there um, that does the crafting um, that has their pages or Trusa, do you have a page? Again, I'm just going right underneath, and it's also not as messy then if you do that um, because you're not cutting all as much of that fur, so you're not going to get as much of a mess going on. So it does take a little bit and to get under there, but it's definitely worth it. Oh, thank you for the heart or for the stars, Pam. I appreciate it. I said my eyes are really playing tricks on me tonight reading. Um, it might be the position of my phone tonight and that light. So, but the phone is below the light, so I don't have a choice in it. So if I'm missing names, I am so sorry. Oh, thank you. Lisa, thank you so much for the stars. I really appreciate that. Appreciate everybody passing on and everything. Hello, Renee. How are you? All right. And I'm just following that line. You're not going to see it. So if you're not getting it perfectly on the line or inside the line, it's okay. You're not going to see the line when we're done with it. So that's going to be the inside of the gnome. following what you mean on cutting the fur not following okay let me show you so when you have the fur if I would take this and just cut like this and straight across it would cut off this length that's already on there and you'd have short fur it would look like this on the bottom length okay by just doing it right underneath right underneath the backing with the right scissor again, right underneath that backing, you're not cutting this length of fur. If I would have that all the way open, um, you'd see it'd be short around the outside where you're cutting. Um, and you don't want that. And like I said, it would be, it's a lot messier because you're really cutting off a lot of the fur. Obviously, whenever you're working with fur, you're gonna have a little bit of the edges that'll still come off. But by doing this, you're still keeping the long length, especially when you have a long fur like this. So did I answer that? Hi, Leona. Thank you, Paula. All right, we're almost all the way through here. If 
see if I can add marker and paint all over me. Okay. We're done with that part. Okay, so now we have a circle and you can see how there's that length everywhere. If we were doing a gnome and I do a beard, um, a, a normal beard, I would be having this down, but it's not gonna matter on here, okay? But then again, if I would've just cut straight across, you wouldn't have this extra length down here. It would be cut off and it would be straight across like that. So that's what I'm talking about if you get right underneath, you're not cutting off that length. Okay, next, this is our sewing part. And I'm using a bright yellow just so that you can see it. Um, you can use any color you want because you're not gonna see it when you're done. I just want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Now, if you watched, I did flowers not that long ago. This is that same idea. Um, and we'll see if we can um, see well enough to thread this needle. So I'm using the embroidery floss it, because it's thicker and you can pull it tighter. You can pull it without this probably breaking, and that's why I'm using that. If you have some kind of thick string, um, that's what you're gonna wanna do. That went pretty easy. Okay, and then one side, I usually always, when I wanna gather it, I usually always wrap it around my fingers, finger on one side a couple times, and then when you roll it off, and then just pull that down, it makes that knot. And that way it's not gonna pull out of the one side, otherwise you keep going. It's not gonna keep going. Oh, thank you, Diane, I appreciate it. How, are you gonna sell this in, in my boutique, in my, in my Etsy shop? I believe I am, I, I do think I am. I don't know that I'll have the tag out there, um, I for sure will have the gnome. I might have a tag out there. I don't well, I only have this one tag like this, but I'll for sure have this gnome, I think, in there. So, all right, so all I'm gonna do is maybe about a half inch in, um, and I'm not poking, again, all the way outside by the fur, okay? You don't want to, let's see, can you see that? Don't poke all the way outside. Just get right underneath there again, um, and you wanna put the needle down and back up can you, can you see that? It looks so dark for me. All right, so, and, uh, and just pull it all the way up to that knot. And then you do that again. You just wanna go down some with the needle and then back up. And it's probably about quarter, half inch. It, it's not that picky, but like I said, I did it with a lighter color so you can see what I'm doing. It's just a running stitch that you're doing and again you don't want to go all the way through to the fur because then you're going to be getting that fur you're going to see the string over the fur and you don't want to see that all right so um anybody else gonna i see some people are going to be trying this and i said it's so easy and cute i don't normally decorate for saint patty's day how many of you do? I I don't normally, but I don't mind making things. So I just thought I'd do this just to show. All right. So I'm just seeing. Okay, can somebody comment? I don't know if my comments stopped. I know some people are having problems with that. There, I got a thumbs up. We're okay. You're all just thinking what I'm doing, right? Actually, okay, and I see hearts. There, we got a comment. I do my daughter's birthday. All right, there, now I've got comments coming up. Thank you. Some people aren't even seeing their comments at all when they're doing it, and that would be so hard um, to do if they're not seeing comments. So, all right, thank you. I know, this is a, this is a tedious part. But you're just gonna do it all the way around. Can you see that stitch then? You're just running it all the way around. And like I said, it doesn't matter what kind of string, you just want a sturdy string. It doesn't matter what color, you're not gonna see it. And just pull it through and out of your needle, hopefully. Probably because 
because I'm hand quilting off your hand quilting. Oh, I missed it now. You're welcome, Judy. All right, and I'm doing, sometimes you can do like two at a time with the needle down and up and down and up and it just makes it a little quicker. Seeing, this is gonna take a while. The next, this is the only sewing part in here and I can do it a little quicker now that I explained how to do it. Awesome, thank you, Lila. I appreciate you passing it on. And it's okay if it gathers up because that's what we're gonna be doing is gathering it up. So it's, it's okay um, when it does that. I said, I'm doing it a little quicker now just because I showed you how. If you're a sewer, I mean, somebody like on the flowers, they asked if you could do a stitch like this on the sewing machine. I wouldn't recommend it with the fur though, because you're gonna be sewing on top of the fur then. And again, you don't wanna see if the fur gets sucked in there um, under the string. Oh, Teresa, hand quilting, isn't that the truth? That so many hours get put into that. Even, you know, sewing, like when I sew costumes for my grandkids, so many hours get put into them, um, but it's worth it to me, um, the time and the money that's spent on doing them because it's special for that I can do. I've been doing it for um, over 15 years now. Um, my oldest grandson is 15 and since he's been, since he was a baby, I've done it for as long as they want, you know, so he obviously for quite a few years hasn't had one, but my little ones do. So yeah, you don't always get your time out. Where's my fur baby? My fur baby is sleeping. He goes in the bedroom when Mr. Crafty Serving goes in the bedroom. So I might do a live tomorrow and my fur baby will be back out. He does enjoy coming on here. I mean, like I said, as soon as I set my table up, he's right there. All right, so I've got it through it. I'm just gonna pull that one up. And see how it, when you pull it, it's already gonna start gathering it. Now, and it's gonna make that little pouch. And I've got some fiber fill here. It doesn't take a lot. Oh, I'm itching now from this fur even. I feel like I got fur everywhere. That's why I wanted to do the tag first. Oh, thank you, Renee, I appreciate it. You're old enough to be a grandma. Oh gosh, I have five grandchildren from 15 down to one. So, and they're all blessings. All right, so I'm just gonna pull this tighter now. So that's probably about all that you need in there. And, okay, so this is where one side was and the other side. So the easiest way to pull this tighter without, because if I pull out like this, that's gonna tear that possibly, tear the fur. So I'm going to already start by just doing one as if I'm gonna tie it in a knot and just do one. And then that way it's going to be pulling it. And then we'll do the final knot after. And it just made this little ball, isn't it cute? Oh, this fur is gonna be driving me crazy. Okay, my finger is tangled up in here. <laughs> see me rustling all right and keep it pulled nice and tight get some of that fur out of there okay and it's okay that there's that little opening if I kept it pulled tight enough it wouldn't have been an opening I'm just gonna knot it one more time okay so this is the bottom of them we're doing this in pieces. Oh, I just have fur all over me here. Okay, so we got that. Um, let me show you the hat, because the hat's easy. These were from Walmart. Uh, they're cute. You can make your own hat if you want. Um, oh, what is the other scissor? You can make your own hat. You certainly, if you do felt and glue it in, but this is just so cute. And it was $3.88. So I picked up a couple of them because I knew they'd be cute. And so they're on the bottom. Just peel that off. 
And if you're afraid it's going to tear, this one's actually coming pretty well. You could also heat it up with a heat gun maybe because it's just glued on there and it's covered with this circle. Okay, now this is the part that would be a little harder. So I'm just gonna try and heat it a little. Hi, Rhoda. Seeing you're overcome with itching. I am. <laughs> I am getting that itching. Okay, so that probably would work, but I'm what I'm gonna do is just do a little bit of cutting in here because it's inside. Start. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little more heating on this. Oh, that's picking right up. Okay, that's picking right up where I needed it to pick up. So that's the trick to do it. They have those at the Dollar Tree too. Okay, good to know. They probably have something like this at Hobby Lobby or something too, but yeah, the Dollar Tree, if you can get it there, get it there. Okay, let's go to this side. If we can get it to pick up on the sides, that's the biggest thing. hot it should melt it right there we go and once you're in the middle it doesn't matter because you're not going to see the middle anyhow okay. oh it's snowing again in Oklahoma yeah I think we're almost ready I mean we had a great winter it's just this month has been hard. Okay, so the rest of this, it doesn't matter. See, you want this outside intact, but it doesn't matter inside here now if some of that um, gets a hole in. It doesn't matter. You're not going to see it. There we go. And that's our hat. Okay, you could add more decoration if you want, but all that sequence on there already is just already cute. You don't need to. Um, okay, so we got that headband gone. So that's the hat. Um, we've got, okay, let's do the legs then. So, and then we're, done. after we get the legs, we just have to put them together. Okay, so I've got. A, a long knee length sock and I'm just gonna cut this bottom off here thank you Rhoda appreciate it so let's just cut this off okay I'm up to 260 some I see if you guys get passing it on and you get me up to that next level 300 um, I will send three happy mail at the end okay all right, so we've got this. Now what I'm gonna do is just cut it right up the center because we're making the legs with this. And so I'm gonna cut it right up the center. We're gonna turn it inside out and I know one thing I forgot now. Okay, and we're gonna glue these. my glue gun is stuck. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. Oh, awesome, Janice. You guys are doing it. Awesome. Thank you. All right. So I'm just going to run a bead of glue. And this is just regular Gorilla Glue that I put in my hot glue gun. And I'm going to fold this over. So you just want it along that edge because we got to flip it inside out. So I've got the right side up. Oh, thank you, Teresa. I appreciate it. 
coming out your way. Thank you, Joyce. Thank you, Faith. All right. That one. Let's do this one. And actually, what we're going to do with this one, because I want... I want a little bit of stuffing in here, but it's gonna be, it's a little hard to stuff it when you've got this long. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get a little bit of stuffing up here. And now I can't press it down because I don't want it to go through the sock. So I'm just going to put um, a little bit of glue. I need more glue. Just a little bit, bit of glue. Along here. And I'm just going to run some of this on top of here. And it'll stay in place when I flip it then. Like I said, I don't want to press down with it so much. But just that, just that little bit on there is going to keep that on. So I'll press it in a minute. Okay, so let's do this one. All right, Mary Ann, I'm glad you're gonna make it. All right, and let's do this one. Whoa. And let's see what I'm doing here. Fold that over. Let's see if I had I had like a one of those square shish kebab sticks that I was going to use so I didn't have to worry about burning myself, but we did good. That's hot. Thank you, Janice. I appreciate it. All right, Jackie, I'm glad you got your happy meal on here. Um, Patricia, I know you're on here. I saw you on here earlier. If you're on, yours will be going out tomorrow. All right. I've never sent to Canada before. Well, I think I sent, somebody bought something for me to Canada. Otherwise, I've never sent anything. I need some silicone fingertips. I know. But I'm tough. I have no fingertips left. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing on here. And put a bead of glue just along the top. And again, I'm not going to press it down because I don't want it to squeeze together. I need to be able to flip this out. So I'm just going to grab a little more fiber fill and just run that along there. On top of that glue okay and that'll be enough to hold it all right so let's get this one back now I can press it okay and then we're just gonna start from one side and flip it see why it's easier to do that stuffing right away because it's gonna be hard otherwise it's all right if you're late Deborah so you missed the cute tag that I made, but now we're making the gnome. All, right, and all I'm doing is I just keep getting my fingers in here, and this material is stretchy so I can get my fingers in and keep pulling some of it out. And so we're making the legs now. See if... Um, if you were, well, I guess, you know, another way you could do it, but it would stuff it really, really full, um, would be to close up one side, one end of it, and then you could keep stuffing it in. But I think it would take a lot to do that. All right. I'm almost to the end of this one. If you have that shish kebab stick or something like that, or a knitting needle works great, like the flat end of the knitting needle, um, you wouldn't have to worry about that. Okay, and some of my stuffing is out, but that's okay. I don't need all of it in there. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, 
and honestly some of it probably well they're still in here we don't need that all right let's do this one if I had to you could put cardboard in between slide a thin piece of cardboard and then you could press down that would help too to keep that in place all right so you could do that but just to keep pushing this through so it's not too hard to turn around socks if it's solid material like if you're using felt you certainly could use felt it's harder to turn around especially when it's the skinny all right i am losing some of my fiberfill here so yeah you could certainly use um felt also but it's harder to turn it around being stretchy like this you can reach your fingers in there and keep pulling that down aren't these cute legs they're cute socks yes these were socks it was one long knee high sock that i cut the foot off save the foot you can do sock gnomes with them um if you haven't done them, I've done some, I've done a live, I think a couple times with sock gnomes, where you fill them with rice and, okay. Also what would make cute legs would be like beads, beads on, um, like I did for the turkey for Thanksgiving. Um, beads would also make cute. See, I earlier today, this stuffing in here worked better just because I was able to push down on it because I did have like those shish kebab sticks in between so I wasn't afraid it was gonna glue through to the next side. So certainly if you can do that more, you'd get a little more stuffing in there. This is gonna work just fine. Those are our legs. Okay, we gotta do feet yet. We gotta do feet and so we're gonna make some boots. Okay, so this is going to be, I just cut out a boot pattern that I felt looked like a, a boot, okay? And it's folded, but it doesn't have to be. But what, I, what I'm finding too is, so I'm going to fold the felt and lay it on here. And that's going to be the bottom of it. I'm not going to cut the bottom then. All I'm going to do is, and you need two of them. But I'm going to leave that bottom intact because then I don't have to glue that side. If you want, trace it on here first. If it's too hard for you to hold it together, just trace it on. Okay, I'm just going to cut off this way. Okay, that's one of them. And we're going to just decorate it up a little bit. Okay, and then let's do... The other one. Oh, I got had 303 happy mail. Thank you, everybody. So now I'm even more nervous, but I appreciate all of you on. Um, at the very end, I'm going to scroll names. I'm going to scroll three names and um, I send you happy mail. And then I ask you to do a random act of kindness for someone. So thank you, everybody, for passing it on. I appreciate it. Um, if you're new coming on here now, I earlier I made a tag for, um, or at the beginning of this, I made a tag for like in a tear tray that's going to go next to this cute um, gnome that we're making now. And so as you can tell, it's going to be a St. Patty's Day gnome. I'm using the green. This I just cut out. out of, this was actually out of a yarn wrapper. Okay, and I just sort of played with it and just got sort of what I thought could be a shape of a boot. And it needs to fit over the sock, so that's why, um, actually I'm going to push that fiber fill in. We want that sort of skinny on the bottom. Okay, so those are our socks. Next we gotta, we're, we've got to trim them up too, and we've got the light green for that. All right, Nancy. And you know, you probably have a lot of this stuff other than this, but you honestly can make this with green felt. Um, it wouldn't be that hard to do it. And this is stuffed up here. So you just, you honestly could do it with that, but 
I have them. So I saw them and I thought they'd be cute. All right, so I'm just gonna glue these together, but I'm only gonna glue this edge and this edge. You need this open because that's going over the leg. All right. So I'm just gonna run uh, just a thin bead of glue around. And one up on this side. Fold that together. Thanks, Pam. We're going to decorate this up. Spread the servings, Julie. I love that. All right, so now I'm going to tell you guys spread the servings. Do you know what that means? Seeing I can't say the other words. I love that. Thank you, Julie. Julie, private message me your mailing address. That was really good. All right. I think we'll get Julie a little happy mail. All right. Let's, um, I'll still do three at the end though. Okay. I'll still do three. Yes, spread the servings, perfect. So I don't know, was, Julie was the first one I said, if somebody else was the first one, I'm sorry, that's the first one I saw that saw it for. All right, so we got these boots and we're just gonna decorate them up a little bit. Um, we're gonna use a little bit of this green and I'm gonna fold it. Cause we're gonna, we need two again, one on each side of the boot cause you're gonna see both sides of the boot. And I'm just, I'm just fudging this. I, I have no pattern other than I, I cut this out of a yarn thing. I have no pattern. I'm just fudging it. So I'm gonna have this hanging down. I think it's a little thick though. It might be cute. Okay, so I just have this a rectangle folded in half and I wanted to extend a little bit past um, do I want to pass it? I'm looking at what I did. A little bit past the top of the boot. Okay, so we're going to do, and, and I've got it folded in half because we're doing two of them. So that's going to be for that one. And this one is going to be for this one. Okay, and we're going to cut it in half. Actually, it'll be easier keeping it together at first. Well, no, we're going to cut it in half. That's what I do. Aw, thank you everybody so much. I just really appreciate y'all. Thank you, Janice. Aw, thank you, Alicia. All right, so this was a short one. Okay, we're going to cut this one in half. I'm glad you're all sticking with me because I know this is a longer project, but it's cute, right? This is a cute gnome. All right, so um, want this a little bit decorative on the bottom. So I'm just lining up those two rectangles again, and I'm going to cut out a couple little triangles and don't throw the triangles away because we're gonna decorate with them too. Okay, so cut triangles and cut one more. Doesn't have to be perfect. Obviously, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I don't want to cut off the one end though. Oh, I think I got plenty of room. So I am going to cut a little bit off of this side. This side too. Okay. Just squaring up. Okay. So, whoops. I want those rectangles because we're going to decorate with the little rectangles too. Okay, so we need that. So we're just going to do the rectangles. This is for the other foot. Lori, it's hot in this house. Here's your ring. Aw, Lori, I appreciate it. Thank you, Janice. I appreciate it. All right, so those triangles we're going to be using too, but we're going to put, now we're going to put a bead of glue. This glue kind of sticking to my, okay, put a bead of glue across here. And lay it on there. 
like that. And then we're gonna go on the back side and do the same thing, but I'm gonna run it a little bit onto the sides too so that sticks together on the sides. So just a little on the side and across and then down that side too. Put that on. Kick in, you wanna make sure that this stays open. You need that open. Okay, let's do the other one. Okay, well, let's do the triangles right away. So I'm just gonna put the triangles on, on the bottom just to add a little decoration, just a little dab of glue here. We'll grab a do, dab of glue there and a little one there. And I'm just gonna put them on. So I'm not wasting everything that I cut off. Okay, that's for the bottom. We'll do that on the other side too. Thank you, Janice. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm having problems. Nada, thank you. I appreciate it. Happy Valentine's Day to you all, too. And now we're moving on to um, St. Patty's Day, huh? Well, I think this is cute. And you know what? Do this in other colors. Certainly could do it in other colors. All right. We're going to set him aside for now. Okay, there's a little more we're going to put on, on here. Well, actually, um, yeah, there's a little more we're going to put on. We'll do it in, in the little steps. So let's do this one. Mary, thanks for all those hearts. Oh, thank you. Thank you, everybody. So like I said, uh, we'll do the random act of kindness at the end. I appreciate all of you. I want to send out happy mail. So we're doing three of them tonight. Um, send out the happy mail and I ask you to do a random act of kindness for someone. That doesn't have to cost you anything. So, let, all right, let's finish this. These boots turned out really, really cute. I'm happy how they turned out. Um, I said they're easy decorations. This is just felt now, just that you buy in the little sheets. What are they? 33 cents at Hobby Lobby. They're probably, I think they're a quarter at Walmart. All right, so, and then let's put the little triangles on the bottom. And you don't have to do that. I just thought it adds a little extra color on them. Try not to put my fingers in there. Thanks, Donna. Amazing. All right, again, if anybody's out there that does the crafting, um, I know I'm not seeing a lot tonight again. Please drop your link. Let people see that you're out there and go follow them. All right. A little warm again okay and then just push them together okay so that's a little bit of decoration now I've got some black and I'm just we just need a little I'm just gonna do a little bit of black and just square this up so I just want a couple thin strips of black just to add a little color one on each side And we're gonna put it like right across the boot like that and just adds that color. That one's a little fat. Oh, thank you, Myrna. I appreciate it. Thanks, Nancy. All right, and I'm gonna put it all the way across on here. Lay it on. Flip it over, and then again, I wanna get it down onto the sides so that that holds together. And then we're almost done with the boots. Okay. 
working and I just pinch those sides together and then we'll end up cutting them after it dries just for a minute. Okay, so just pinch the ends. Let's do this one. Cut that a little fat. Thank you, Vicki, I appreciate it. All right. Dab of glue along here. Aren't they just really cute? They're fun. You know what would be really cute too? Do these in, and make them into a garland. Wouldn't that be cute? Maybe add some of the shamrocks. That would be really, really cute. Just get a little down on there. Okay, let's go back to the other one. I'm just gonna clip that end off. Just leave a little bit of the edge where that glue was. Get my hot glue everywhere. You will see my mess here. Okay, and if some of this glue came out on the bottom, just clip it off. One more decoration on here. I have a bag somewhere of these little tiny pom-poms. So I used green on that one, but and I probably would have enough for green again, but I think I'm gonna be, to be fun, because we've got this yellow in here, I'm gonna do the yellow this time. Okay, so I'm gonna put one in between each here and then I'm gonna put three at the toe just because I don't have a bigger one and I have bigger ones, but they're too big. So I put three on there and they just add a little bit of fun. So you could do orange, you could do instead of the green. Um, but so I need six, seven, eight, nine for each one. Oh, Betty, have a good night. Two, four, six, seven. Eight, nine, and then I need nine more. And then the boots are done, and then we're gonna be putting him together. Aren't these fun little, these are little fun little pom-poms. Like I said, you could use a little bigger one on the toe. Um, okay, I probably have too many now, but I just want to make sure I have enough. You could use a little bigger one on the toe, but I didn't have a bigger one, and I didn't feel like trimming one down. So we're using extra on here. Okay. So I'm just going to, hello, hello, Cheryl. Yeah, I think the yellow will be really cute on here. So I'm just going to put a little dab between each. Each little triangle. Push it on there, put it on there, flip it over and do the other side. That's a rare name, Madonna. Okay, somebody's matching up on here. I like it when you all talk with each other too. Like I said, I do appreciate you guys all wel welcoming the newbies too all the time. Okay, aren't those really cute? Okay, then for the top, because I don't have the right size pom-pom, we're using three little ones. So I'm just putting a little spot on here and a little spot over here. Between one on each side. And I'm trying to pinch them up together so that they're next to each other without hurting myself here. And then I'm going to put one more at the top. Aren't they cute? All right, so we got that one done. Let's finish this one up, and then we'll put them all together. Maybe. 
All right. Three little dabs again. In. Thanks, Carmen. Thank you. Oh, I'm at 300 again. That just really makes me nervous. I appreciate it though. So I'm almost done. This gnome is so dang cute. I appreciate you coming on and watching them. If you didn't see the beginning, I started off doing a tag with Magnolia Design. Um, just use the word kiss me from one of the stencils. Um, I'm a creator for Magnolia Design. If you're interested in it at all, um, either just buying, you can be a customer. I put a link up there. If you're interested in getting a discount, um, you can become a creator and just get a discount. There's never any um, quotas that you have to meet, no monthly quotas. Um, but you can get a discount being a creator. And then um, if you want to earn a little extra cash, you can do that too. You can do little parties or people can order from you. So that's why the link is up there. And I'll show you that tag when we're done with putting this gnome together. Because it's a tag that'll look cute on a tear tray with this or on the shelf. All right, last one. And then we got the boots together. There we go. It's just cute. All right, so we're gonna set the boots aside. One more step in the feet is we need wire um, so that we can position the legs and I've got Dollar Tree wire here that I use just from the Dollar Tree it, it's it's nice and pliable but yet it'll hold stiff enough for this so I'm gonna cut it just a little bit longer than the legs so maybe about a half inch out on each leg on each side I should say aren't those boots cute I do love those boots oh thank you Kim I appreciate it all right and then let's do the other one I said you want them about and the only reason why I've got them a little bit longer is because I'm gonna create a little hook on one side first all to be able to get it through so I just hook up that end so that it's a rounded end that we can just push it through and it's not snagging on everything, right? And then we can hook that on the one side. And then we'll have this flipped over. Let's see. On the other side, and that'll just hold it. So isn't that quick and that's quick and easy to do that? And this side is where the boot's gonna go. So we have a little bit of fat legs in here. We'll just see if we can get some of that down. Might have been easier to put the wire in before, but the wire goes went through really fast. And if you put the wire in before, it's not as easy because how do you flip it around then? You know, I did think of that. I tried it with pipe cleaner, but even flipping with the piper cleaner was not easy. So yeah, to put the wire in, in before, you can't flip it then. It's too hard to flip. Okay, so it's perfectly easy by just bending the one end. It works really, really well. All right, and let's put this one in. Like I said, it's not snagging because you bend that one circle end. And then we'll just open that up a little and hook it on. This side will just make a little shorter. Hook it on. And the reason why we're putting the wire in is so that it can be positionable, the legs. Move them. All right. Again, I've got a bunch up in here. I'm just trying to move some of that fiber fill. The fiber fill would have been easier if I would have had like a little piece of cardboard or something in um, before I 
flipped it and I put the fiber fill across the top, if you put something in between there and then you can really push it down on it, it would be all the way across. But it's still gonna be cute like this. Okay, so let's put the boots on. Now, this is the seam that's gonna be the back. So you want to open this up. And you want to put that together so that that seam is at the back and just shove that in there and you'll even feel that wire go down in there before the sock does sort of push it in if it helps you something And then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue inside to hold that in. In the front and the back. It's cute, cute, cute. You can make sure your wire stays up here. I wonder if that would work on my CPAP cover. Maybe. All right. Again, I want the seam side to the back of this boot. Open that boot up. If it's easier for you, you honestly probably could have built the boot around the leg too. That would work. So I just found it easy to decorate it on the side. some glue in here and then we'll put the legs on that's just cute Patricia this wasn't a hard one right it just took a little longer all right, so okay, we got the legs. Now we're gonna finish the body. Okay, so we're almost done. Let's get this out of the way. Now this was the hat that we took off of. I got this at Walmart. Somebody said you can get them at the Dollar Tree too. I just took the hat off of your little headband. And I don't think there's a right or a wrong way to do this one, honestly. I really don't think there is. So let's just, this side looks like it's got a little darker coloring. This is lighter. I'm gonna stick with the lighter. It looks like a little Mr. It, right? It's gonna make long legs, but we're gonna position them and they go all the way underneath them. So they'll be okay. All right, so I'm just gonna put, and I wanna stay, I sort of wanna stay on the inside of where that middle part of the cap is. And put all that glue on there. Mat him down. And put him on. Where's the puff ball from? I made it. Okay, so you missed it, check back earlier. I cut a circle from fur, I gathered it up, and stuffed it with um, fiber fill. And that's how we got this little puff ball, okay? It was really easy to do, um, but yeah, just check back. It was just gathering it up, okay? So we got that. Now I've got two side beads here. You guys tell me, do you want a big nose or a small nose? So I've got, I think this honestly will look cute. He would look cute. Or I've got this size. And I like this, this color because that's sort of going with the tag too and pulling out the color from here. So we can do the small bead. Ah, oh, Kelly, thank you. The small bead or the big one? This big one is just actually really cute, right? 
Okay, big, big, big. Yeah, I think so too. He really adds to it. I'm patient, Leona. Oh, thank you. I Not always. Yep, big it is. Big it is. I haven't seen one small. He's just really, really cute. All right, so we're going to put some. Now, this bead has the hole, so you got to have that on the side or you're going to see that. You don't want holes in the front, right? Um, so, okay, so we're going to put a bunch of glue on, this, on the side, and we're going to tuck that up in there. So, and i got to hold it a minute so we don't lose them. Yeah, the big, he's just cute. The other one I did the small on, and he's cute, but I saw this big one, and I wanted to save the big one for this. All right, I think he's pretty, isn't he just cute? He is just cute. All right, and then we're gonna add the legs on, and I'll show you with the tag, then we're done. Just don't wanna lose the ball. And you could buy round balls, wood balls, like at Hobby Lobby and stuff that don't have the hole in. You could do that too. There, isn't he cute? He's just cute, cute, cute. All right, so the other thing I wanna do is, I'm gonna cut also a rectangle. Well, probably not a rectangle. I'm just gonna cut a little piece that's gonna cover the legs on the bottom where we're gonna be putting a bunch of glue. Okay, you're not even going to see it. it. It's fine. You're not going to see it, but I don't want to see these legs either. Okay, so the legs have to go out. We probably should have done the legs first, but the legs are going to go out like this. You want to make sure that that seam is down. Okay, so the seam hat, you don't want to glue the seam to the fur. You want the other side to the fur. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to part this a little bit. It's sort of hard to part it. Um, there's not much to part really. And I need more glue. Make sure I'm putting the legs on the right side. Okay, we're just gonna put a bunch of glue down here. It's hot, hot glue. All right, again, you want the seam to the back. And we'll adjust that after. Okay, and the seam to the back on here. Hot. Watch the fingers. Okay, and then we're gonna take some and put it on top, and that's just gonna help you be able to push this together. And you could have done the legs before you did the hat. Look at how you can do that now. So now we're just gonna sit here a second to let it get nice and set up. And then I'll show you the position of the legs. His nose is as big as his head, isn't it? But it's cute. That's what I, this was the other one. So we used the little nose on there, but this one is fun. I saw the big bead and I'm like, oh, I love him. All right. Okay. So I'm still going to let it, set up in here yet. We're going to let that get nice and solid and then we'll position his legs. Okay. Is that backward? Is that backwards? Is what backwards? The lay, it looked like the seam was, but it's only because the seam was turned with, with this. It's, the seam is okay. I had the seam, see, and it, it's turning some, so we need to, when, when it's all positioned, it'll be fine. And I have the seam down, 
actually, you know what? Did I put the seam the wrong way? That's all right. We can turn it. You actually wanted the seam up. Yeah, you're right. Whoever said, are you backwards? I am backwards. I'm just going to turn it. It's fine. And you can turn because it's wire. You can turn it. It'll be fine. I can't believe I did that. Don't do what I say. But you're gonna you're gonna see you're gonna still it still works okay and like I said if I had something to put that fiber fill in better I would have done that all right so while he is sitting here gelling let me show you the tag we did at the beginning if you missed it all we did was this tag um, I think it was a Hobby Lobby tag I just stained a little bit on the outside with the Waverly antiquing wax I painted um, painted this with a deco art paint sour apple and they were hearts three hearts and then I cut a popsicle stick okay and I painted and then I used um, the stencil from Magnolia stencil I'm creator for um, this was the rolling pin Valentine's and the one I used was Kiss Me. These are really, really cute stencils. Um, you can use them. Like I said, this is not necessarily for Valentine. Um, somebody said they might have been, you might have to look in the seasonal. I'm not sure if they, I think they still might be there, but they also have Be Mine, Love You, XO. Um, if you want to become a team member and do a creator, be a creator, you know, you can do that too. You don't have to be a have to sell though or anything but all right I think we're ready to position them so we're just gonna bend his legs like my thought is so if he's sitting on something so let's sit him on let's sit him on this can we sit him and I had him on a shelf before and you can just bend his legs so you've got that wire in there and that's how you do it you bend his legs you can do that and like I said, on a shelf, and then, or like in a tear tray. Can't see him on there. Okay, and then you just put the tag on the side on the tear tray. Isn't that just really, really cute? All right, I'm just looking if I froze here. So, nope, I think I'm back. Post a picture. I will post a picture when I'm done, but I just think he turned out so cute. He's fun. He was easy. Um, so thank you, everyone. So, oh, thanks for all those hearts. Thank you so much. So, all right, should we do random at the kindness 